It's the 4th of October 2024. One of the most successful karting manufacturers on the planet reveals new model, the Pirol S18. At first glance, it looks like just another chassis refresh, a sharper design and a new aero kit. But there is more going on here. They have added 200 grams to the front end, redesigned the brake system and reshaped the side pods to cool the rear tires more efficiently. Sounds impressive. The news spread fast. The karting community was filled with the conversation, discussions and early impressions about the new bureau. But beneath the red paint and carbon fiber lies a question. Is it actually faster? Today we dig into the dynamics of the Beetle S18. We'll break down what is really happening to the air around this cart using CFD. All to get to the bottom of one thing. Is this cart early step forward or just a marketing trick? This is the story of Beetle S18 and the truth behind the airflow. Let's get into the analysis of Beryl S18. Now, this might seem like a small detail, but in Aero, even the smallest shape change up can ripple through entire system. In the S18, it made some small changes. Visually, the new bumper features a single large hole in the center, challenging air straight toward the front panel. It also includes two smaller vents, positioned in the corners. Now, let's pause for a moment here because this is where the story starts to shift. When we look at the pressure graph, it's clear that central creates a lower pressure zone, helping to smooth out the airflow as soon as it hits the cart. Instead of slamming into a flat surface and getting pushed around it, now it has a clear escape path. That means less turbulence, less buildup, cleaner flow. But it gets me even more interesting when we move to the velocity graph from above. In the older S16, Airflow in the center of the bumper slowed down significantly, creating a wider wake zone. Thanks to those two side vents, the wake is smaller and more controlled. The airflow passes through and stays closer to the cart, especially around the front tires. It may look like a small change, but it pays off. Now, let's move to the front panel. Just like the previous generation, the panel features an integrated hole. But this time, it's been lowered, and that shift changes how the airflow interacts with the cart entirely. Pulling air from a lower position means that it's redirected upwards sooner, giving the entire front section a more aerodynamic footprint. We also notice less pressure buildup right at the main intake. On the S16, the air hits that space harder, creating a bigger high-pressure zone that fights against forward motion. There's more going on here. If you look closely at the upper section of the front panel, you will see a small slot. Now, this might seem like a minor details, but let's think for a while. What does it propose? Well, these small vents appear to redirect air, helping reduce pressure near the driver's chest. Looking at velocity graphs, we can see that in both models the air gets pushed upward. But in S18 it happens more smoothly, more controlled and crucially with less turbulence. Next we have side pods. According to Beryl, they have been redesigned to improve rear tire cooling and visually the difference is easy to spot. The shape, sleeker, sharper, more aggressive lines and angular cuts, especially toward the exit section. It looks fast, but what does the data say? Well, when we pull up the streaming graphs, we can see that on the S18 air flows more cleanly around the side pods and gets directed toward the rear tires. Compared to the older S16, the airflow is more focused, more efficient. The S16 tried to guide air to the rear, but not like this. And this isn't just some nice bonus, it matters. In karting, the rear tires heat up faster than the front ones. Over a race distance, that heat can lead to grip loose, so it's important to have efficient cooling. Let's look at what all this really means in a raw data. The error coefficients. For this test, we used a full KZ2 setup. That means bigger radiator, engine and more components that naturally create extra drag, so keep that in mind when comparing with past results. Even with all of that, the Beryl S18 delivers a drag coefficient of 
and lift coefficient of minus 0.30. Compare that to S16 0.6 drag coefficient and negative 0.50 lift. That's pretty significant drop in drag and nearly the same amount of negative lift. So we are not losing stability, we are just cleaning up the air. But here's where it gets interesting. What happens when the driver tacks in? In racing we all know how much of difference that head down low profile position can make. But when combined with the S18's new aero package, it's something more. Up front the car still looks identical, but in the middle section things start to shift. The wake, the turbulent air trapped inside the car body is significantly reduced. Near the driver's helmet, the stagnation zone, the place where air slumps into a solid object and builds speed pressure, is smaller. That's less resistance, less drag. And then we get to the rear. This is where the new barrel really shines. Airflow stays attached longer. The wake behind the cart is cleaner and smoother than anything we have seen from previous models. It is not just a slight improvement, it is a noticeable one. And the numbers back it up. With the driver tucked in, the Bureau S18 achieves a drag coefficient of 0.4 and lift coefficient of minus 0.05. That is a big deal. The new Aira package isn't just for looks, it works. This model isn't just about a fresh appearance or new lines, it's been designed with an idea. And the results speak for themselves. Less drag, more efficient cooling, cleaner, more controlled airflow. Sure, the changes might seem small, but in a sport where every tenth of a second can mean the difference between overtaking or being overtaken, they matter. These aren't just cosmetic tweaks. These are racing advantages. What do you think? Have you tested S18? Seen it up close? Do you believe the AR upgrades a real deal? Or do you think it might be more marketing than performance? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I personally think when it comes to karting, every detail counts.